hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn about how to insert the data into our real-time database in php firebase so guys let's get started with it so let's move to our editor so first um, let's move this both file outside okay because i don't want to store over here so in future might come error so for that sake we are going to remove this both files and push outside the folder okay as simple and now let's delete this config folder done and you can go and check inside your firebase dbcon.php file with the same path okay as simple and this will also require the vendor thing okay so now let's get started guys so first we need one user interface to design so let me just create what includes folder and inside this i need two files one is header.php and one is footer.php and also we'll create one navbar file navbar.php so guys now let's go to getbootstrap.com to design this user interface so getbootstrap.com documents let's copy the starter template let's copy and paste inside our index file so let's create one so let's create one index file index.php paste and what are the things we require that only we are going to keep and other things we will remove that x and now let's copy this inside our header part and create one py of 4 this div tag end of that we are going to copy and paste in footer and warp us to index page cut this and paste over here as simple and now guys we will include those two files open php close php with the help of include function so inside my includes folder header.php includes folder header.php let's copy this and paste and call the footer too so let's call this footer dot php and we need the navbar also so call after this navbar not inside here you can call at this header part so let's call that open php include function close php and call your inside you are already inside the navbar i mean includes folder navbar dot php file so now let me just change this title php firebase and let's go back to our navbar and set the navbar guys so let's move to our bootstrap call navbar and here is the code guys so let's copy this and paste so i require few things so let me just separate that I don't need all these things so let me remove as simple I need to make this dark navbar and this will be my home page copy and paste copy paste as simple home and you can tell this as about register and login save and now let's go to index.php over here let's see the output guys let's come back this is my path you can see hello world so let's make this at right side let's go to navbar make this s and i don't want container fluid let's make it to container save perfect now we are going to design the form to insert the data so let's remove this use container row column md12 over here i'm going to design one card where card header with the h4 tag add contacts with a tag where you're going to tell add contacts and this will be your firebase 
crud heading okay php firebase crud heading for uh, real time database okay save and over here we will tell add hyphen contact contact dot php file let's copy this before copying let's give a design for this button button primary float end and give a card body and now let's copy this name and create a file and now guys here is the same thing you need to include all the files so let's copy this and paste over here let's give this as index danger and this will be the back button add contacts save and here you need to create your form so before that let's go and refresh and check the output so php firebase let's add contact click on add add contact has come let's insert the data guys let me just make this form as six justify content center and create the form form where you are going to include method is equal to post and this will go to and after this form group margin bottom three input dot form control where with the label first name and the input name will be name is equal to first name Let's copy paste four input fields so this will be the last name last name last name email address oops email let's give this name as email and here input type will be email and this will be the number input type because we are going to give phone number and that phone number will be as phone and simple one button to save so let's create one button one button which will be the submit let's tell save contact and give a name for this save contact and the button design we are going to use the bootstrap class button button primary and yep guys so let's see the output for this refresh perfect so first name last name email address so now when we click on this save contact the data should get saved in your real-time database of firebase so now let's get back yep guys so let's when you click on this save contact it will go to code.php so let's create one code.php file code.php you're here now let's open this php and close with php so first you need to include your database connection use include function where you are going to call dbcon.php file as simple and now use if function to check that button is clicked or not with the help of is set function dollar underscore post method of your save button okay save contact copy this and paste over here and now guys let's create one variable called first underscore name is equal to dollar post method of what your first name so let's copy this and paste same way you're going to call with all the input fields so this will be a last name email and the phone as simple now we need to save the data where in your firebase so guys, let's move to documentation and inside your real-time database you can see saving data and write a list over here you can see okay so this is the method so let's copy this and paste over here 
So inside this array, you need to send one format. So let's tell this f name is equal to your variable called first name. Give comma same way copy and paste four times, and this will be your last name as last name, and then email. So let's take this email to email variable and this phone, and this will be my column. So these columns are nothing but which will be created automatically inside your real time database. So now we need to specify that where it should be created. Okay. So inside this database, we are going to create one table. Let's tell as contacts where I'm going to give value dummy a. Let's save and let's empty this guys. So let's delete and hit enter. So now you can see contacts table is created. Now we will get back to our table over here. Let's tell reference table. Okay, is equal to contacts. Make sure the spelling is correct as this. Okay, contacts. And now this variable will be pushed into your get reference. So which is that table? This reference table and push what data? These datas. As simple. And this will be your push reference will tell result okay so let's copy this and put in if condition to check the status so let's push this over here and use the session variable session of status where you will tell contact added successfully as simple and after this i want to redirect back to the same page use the help of location called index.php I want to go back after adding this I want to go back to index page okay let's get back so let's copy this again and paste in else condition so if something went wrong contact not added okay and go back again so if you are using session variable please start your session at the top oops start okay and let's copy this to view the message whatever you have printed on the index page so over here you are going to use if condition so before that php open php close and if with the help of is set function you are going to check with that dollar under session of your variable which you have created as status right so let's copy this status if it is there echo how you are going to echo in h5 tag i'm going to echo double quotes dot dot let's use a class single quotes alert 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 success after this we need to unset the message okay answer the message which is status as simple so this is a method to show the message so guys now let us get back to add contacts and see everything is fine and let's go to code.php everything is perfect so guys now let us try to insert the data so let's refresh once and let's add the data so with prakash email with at gmail.com phone number let's save okay we are on the index.php file but we didn't get the message so let's see first our data is inserted cool so you can see that guys data is inserted perfectly into our contacts table so why the message did not come let's see okay okay we did not start the session right so you need to start the session underscore start function save and let's refresh guys you can see that message so contact added successfully let's refresh again that message will disappear so let's try to add one more let's tell om prakash om at gmail.com so phone number let's save cool so contact added successfully let's refresh it's gone and let's see again over here 
you can see guys that data is inserted so guys let's see next video about how to fetch these records into our html table format by using bootstrap so guys in this video that's it let's continue in next video thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share